YouTube success. I'm gonna tell you what you need to know in order to get some results here on YouTube. And we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, real quick before we jump into this, if you are somebody that is already on YouTube, you're getting a little bit of success or a lot of success, give your tips down in the comments below for other people that are gonna see this video. Okay, if you're watching this video, you wanna succeed on YouTube. So I'm gonna break down some stuff that you need to hear. The very first thing that I wanna start with is that there is no competition on YouTube. You're only competing against yourself. Now, hang with me here. What I mean by this is a lot of people will look at other people that are in their niche and they'll say, hey, this is my competition. They're doing better than I am. And then it blows their head and they're thinking, I'm not even gonna do this anymore. Or they start thinking, I'm gonna start putting up this type of content or that type of content. And they start making stupid content decisions because of it. It's only you, you're competing against yourself. You're just trying to do better than you did last week. You're trying to do better than you did last month, you're trying to do better than you did in the last 90 days. That's it. If you lose sight of that, you're going to stress out and this whole experience is going to be a lot more difficult for you and it's going to suck the fun out of it because you're going to be stressed out about why you're not doing as good as this person, that person, or that other person. Now listen, everybody goes through that, okay? So it's not something that it's like, oh, hey, well, I'm the only person experiencing this. Like everybody goes through that, that's why I'm talking about it. But at some point, you have to come to the realization that what the other people are doing on their channels doesn't matter. Only the decisions that you are making with your content on your channel, that's the only thing that matters. Two, the algorithm follows the audience. Instead of spending all this time trying to think of how you can game the algorithm in order to get views, think of YouTube as a responsive system. YouTube specifically tells us, they say, instead of worrying about what the algorithm likes, think about what your audience likes. If you make that and they watch, the algorithm will follow. They tell us in writing that that is what you need to do and people spend all of this time trying to game things or trying to find that button that they need to push in order to make things work. It's your content. It's how people are responding to your content. So focus on that. Focus on making content as good as you possibly can. Look in your audience retention reports and that's gonna tell you how people are responding to your content. It doesn't matter how good you think your content is. What matters is what that graph says inside of your audience retention reports because that tells you at scale what other people think about your content. If your retention is low and you want success on YouTube, learn how to fix it. Check out my channel page. I've got videos that will help you with that. Next on the list is to grow all platforms at once. I made the mistake of just focusing everything on my YouTube channel. I mean, it worked, but if I was growing all the platforms at the same time, then I would have all of these other assets to juice my videos when I publish. Learn from my mistake, grow the other outlets as well. It's important. If you wanna be an influencer on YouTube, it's very advantageous for you to be an influencer on the other platforms as well. Next on the list is if you don't know why you're putting up videos on YouTube, you don't know why it is that you're making content in the first place, you're just making videos to put them up on YouTube, you're making a huge mistake. If you don't know why you're putting your content out there, then you can't expect anything. You can't expect to be pulled in any direction because there is no direction that you're trying to go in. Figure out why. Figure out what it is that you're wanting to do with your channel, why it is that you're putting up videos and focus all of your efforts on that. And when you do that, have that why as the thing that you measure, not your subscriber count, not your view count, the why. How close am I to getting what it is that I'm after? If that thing for you is, I'm just uploading videos because it's fun, then every single video that you're putting up is a massive success if you had fun. It doesn't matter if you get views on it. It doesn't matter how many subscribers you generate. What matters is that you had fun. And if you say, hey, Nick, I'm trying to grow my channel and I'm just putting up videos and I like to have fun and that's all I care about, then you can't say, hey, Nick, I'm trying to grow my channel because you're not trying to grow your channel. You're trying to have fun and the content decisions that you're making are going to reflect that. And don't get me wrong. I mean, this is fun. This is all fun. But when you have some type of thing that you're trying to accomplish or some thing that you're trying to accomplish, it can make a world of difference because you laser focus all the content that you're making towards that thing, which starts making all of the pieces come together to actually help you accomplish that thing. Next up, consistency and sustainability matter. If you really want success on YouTube, you have to pace yourself. You have to do it in a sustainable way and you have to do it consistently. I've burned out before. I was trying to balance too many things and I couldn't and I burned out and I ended up giving up on another channel that I'm gonna hopefully relaunch in 2019, but I ended up giving up on that other channel because I just couldn't manage it all. 
it sucked. I was given the advice that I'm giving you right now in terms of pacing yourself so that you can do this, so you can sustain it for a long period of time. I was given that advice, I didn't take it, and because of it, I got caught in a burnout. Consistency is also extremely important. If you are putting out content that has the nature to go viral, then in that case, you can be a little bit more relaxed because your videos are, you know, of that caliber, so to speak. But if you are like the rest of us and the type of content that you're making does not have the nature to go viral, well, you need to be in those subscription feeds. You need to be putting those videos out that you're ranking in search so that people can find them. You need to start having those videos going out on a regular basis with the new tags on them. You need to keep putting your content out so you can pop up in the suggested column next to other people so that you are at the tops of the minds of the people that watch your content so they keep getting hit with your videos, keep getting hit with your videos, keep getting hit with your videos. Another thing that is extremely important that most people overlook is a content strategy. Know why you're making your channel, know what it is you're trying to accomplish with your videos, but know specifically with each video that you're putting out, what is it that I'm trying to have this video do? How can I, this video relate to another video? How can I put these videos together in a stack so that once I add them to a playlist, people are likely to binge watch that playlist? Watch time is important on YouTube. Session time or how long somebody stays on the platform is important on YouTube. If you can learn how to build that trap, so to speak, that keeps people watching more and more of your content, YouTube's gonna love you for it. And if you can keep people coming back to your channel, they're gonna love you for that too, which is gonna help you get success here on YouTube. And look, with all of that said, there's a learning curve with all of this stuff. You have to embrace that learning curve. If you're making thumbnails right now and you're thinking to yourself, ah, you know what, I really wish I could use Photoshop to do this, learn how to use Photoshop. If you're making videos and you're thinking to yourself, man, I wish my editing could be better on these videos. I wish I had some better color in these videos. So I wish I knew how to do some of these editing tricks that these other people do so that I can make my videos cooler. Embrace the curve, embrace the learning curve to learn how to edit videos. There's a gazillion videos on YouTube that teach you how to edit. As a matter of fact, my buddy Vigard that's editing this video right now, he actually has a channel you can check out right up here that will actually show you how to edit videos for YouTube. Go and watch his videos. Another thing is that you don't need the best equipment in the world, but if your equipment sucks, like if you're using a phone that's just horrible, eventually, start with what you've got, but eventually, you should upgrade. Now, I'm not saying that you gotta have the best equipment in the world, but what I am saying is that you need to have your stuff at a certain acceptable level, because these days, you know, we have this quality level that we have come to expect. And if you're not meeting that, or at least getting close, there'll definitely be some tolerance with what it is that you're doing, but when you get the chance, upgrade. If you're doing them on your phone, that's totally okay because the optics in phones these days are ridiculous. But what I'm saying is, if your phone quality sucks, then when you get the chance, upgrade your phone for the sake of making videos. And another thing is you're gonna need to educate yourself on how to do all of this stuff. I'm gonna put a playlist right up here at the top of the screen. I recommend you check it out if you're learning how to do this whole YouTube thing. There's a bunch of videos in there that are gonna help you get your footing. That's gonna help you learn how to do all this stuff. I really recommend that you watch it. And I mean all of it, the entire playlist, every video that's in there, because you have to learn how to do this stuff if you're gonna use it, just like you have to learn how to do anything else if you're gonna do it. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos, and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.